On behalf of the ASGE Governing Board, I thank you for your membership. Without you, none of what we do would be possible. We hope that ASGE's programs, publications, advocacy, and education have met and exceeded your expectations this membership year. So my working diagnosis here is that this patient has biliary symptoms, obstructive symptoms, and with postprandial pain, intermittent elevation in her LFTs, and she got an episode of jaundice. Hello everyone, and I'd like to welcome you all to the uh, American Society of Gastrointestinal Endoscopy course, uh, Per Oral Endoscopic Myotomy, uh, Poem Pearls to Practice. Hello everyone, my name is Dennis Yang. I'm the Director of Third Space Endoscopy at the Center of Interventional Endoscopy, Advent Health Orlando. Uh, if there's any food debris, many of these achalasia patients will have residual food in their esophagus in the stomach. You want to make sure you clear this out. I'd like to welcome all of you to this year's GO course. And I'd like to introduce you to a, a new concept we've started at GO. It's called the Trailblazers in Practice Management Series. Uh, with me today is Dr. James Frakes. And today's uh, inaugural uh, lecture is named in his honor. I'm Ashley Foe. I am zooming in from Cleveland, Ohio, where I am professor of medicine. My name is John Martin. I uh, am at Mayo Clinic in Rochester, Minnesota. And of course, this is ASGE or CP Masterclass. Hello, ASGE family. My name is Jennifer Christie, and I am happy to serve as your ASGE vice president. I hope that this message finds you and your family doing well. We have our Advanced Endoscopy Fellows course here at ASGE. So what you do, uh, essentially you hook this in the groove and then you torque until you get all the slack out and on the dial. Hi everybody, this is Doug Rex, ASGE past president. Hope you're having a great summer. Announcing that ASGE is going to bring you a new colonoscopy video quiz series. We're going to call this one, So You Think You Know Colonoscopy. I am delighted to share some exciting news with you today. The ASGE has elected to honor one of our past presidents and Schindler Award winners, Dr. Melvin Shapiro, by designating our audio visual award with a new title. Video GIE Mel Shapiro Award. To kick us off, it's my pleasure to introduce Jill Olmstead. Thank you, Sarah. So it's an honor to be invited back and being part of this program. What I wanted to do today is go over with you the fundamentals of the gastroenterology consultation note. Hi, good morning, everyone. Uh, this is uh, Pratik Sharma and uh, welcome from the ASG studios and uh, headquarters. This is ASGE Weekend Endoscopy Live, live from the ITNT Center, brought to you by uh, Medtronic. All right, guys, welcome everyone. We appreciate you coming uh, to the first of the first year fellows endoscopy courses. And know uh, what you want to resect here. So you can see here, I'm going to go in the center of the lesion. This, this lesion is actually on the bigger side. Good morning, everybody, and welcome to the ASGE postgraduate course for 2022. Good evening, everyone, and congratulations. Um, welcome to the educational offering of ASGE's Women's Lead Program. We would like to thank all of you in person here and those online for joining us today. Today we have four distinguished guests, all experts on screening for colorectal cancer. 
to discuss the Nordic trial results and the implications for current practice. Hi, my name is Gerard Eisenberg. I'll be talking about differentiating between red spots, erythema, and angiotasias on small bowel capsule endoscopy. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to the Thursday Night Lights webinar sponsored by the American Society for Gastrointestinal Endoscopy. guys. So thank you so much for taking this weekend to be with us. The stent itself will actually cause tamponade. The stent, you know, is a, a coated uh, metal stent. So nitinol stent with a nice coating. Welcome to the ASGE. Welcome to the ARIA program for Regeneron. It's fantastic to see you all here. Hi, good morning, everybody. Uh, welcome to the wonderful ASGE JGES ESD hands on training course here in Chicago. In this way, if I start from here and going to this way, then I can see the, the direction you, I am cutting. But if I start from here and cut to this direction... Hola a todos. Mi nombre es Olaya Brewer Gutierrez y soy endoscopista terapéutico de John Hopkins. En esta oportunidad quería comentarles sobre los beneficios de unirse a esta increíble familia llamada American Society of Gastrointestinal Endoscopy o ASGE. GI Quick initiated the monthly Quick Bites webinar series in 2021 to focus on specific pertinent topics, keeping the presentations not only quick, but easily digestible. I have the distinct pleasure today of discussing Dr. Klaus Mergener's career with him as something we can add to the presidential tapes and, and let him um, kind of explain a little bit about his life. So Klaus, I'm, I'm deeply honored. The thing about this course we've always tried to do for, um, for a long time is get you into the minds of people who are actively doing EUS. All right, so I think there's a lot of questions and a lot of kind of axioms that get, that get thrown out about how to clip close a lesion or even how to inject a lesion about starting proximal and moving distal or starting distal and then proximal. 